Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If I look the same in a few videos, it's because I've been filming them back to back. It's freezing cold, but I was like, let's do this. <laughs> um, firstly, can we just talk about my lip color? It's the Too Faced Melted Lipstick thing in the shade Melted Berry. I literally bought this around Christmas time. It's just a sample size, like it came with a few, and I've literally only just worn it today for the first time ever. And seriously, I am obsessed. I think this color is so beautiful. <laughs> but anyway, let's talk about what I'm going to be doing today. I bought this palette not too long ago. Um, it's called the Too Faced Selfie Palette. Basically, it's supposed to be like photo friendly powders or something like that. There's three shades in this palette. There is Moon River, which is this one on the end here. Totally Toasted, which is this one here, and Sunrise, which is the yellow one. Um, let me quickly read what it says. So they say that they're light filtering photo enhancing powders. Um, Sunrise, which is the yellow one, diffuses warmth. The Totally Toasted, which is the middle bronzy one, that one says it's bronzed smoothing glow. And then the purple one is blue, <laughs> blue. <laughs> cool one, Laura. Cool ethereal light actually this reminds me of the hourglass powders like you know how you've got dim light you've got ethereal light you've got radiant light and you've got um, diffuse light I only own I own one palette and then I own two individual I actually own ethereal light from hourglass and mine is not purple <laughs> I remember when I was telling my little cousin about this palette she was like why is there a purple in there like who would want to be an eggplant and I was just like seriously <laughs> but anyway I'm not too sure how I'm gonna go about it I've never used this palette before besides me chipping my finger into the shade when I was hauling it um, but yeah, I've never actually used this palette before so I really wanted to show you guys on camera how it looked so obviously I only have one face and there's three powders so I might I might do the yellow on one half of my face and the blue on the other half of my face and then I'll use the totally toasted in kind of like sections of my face just to kind of give it a bit of warmth where my bronzer is, maybe. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have my camera here. This is a Samsung NX3000. I also bought this for my birthday <laughs> and I love it so much, but I am going to take a selfie with no powders like no no Too Faced selfie powders on my face and then I'm going to dust a few selfie powders over my face and then we'll see if it makes a difference or if this is a complete gimmick fail because I plan on washing my face after this and then I'm going out to dinner with my family so yeah let's turn this on Whee! and let's take a selfie okay so I took a selfie it's got my full face in it now so I'm going to dust these powders over my face. I'm not really too sure what order I'm going to do this in, but let's hope it works. <laughs> so I'm just going to use the same brush to apply all three powders because I'm sure it won't make that much of a difference. I don't know if I should take a selfie every single time I put on a powder. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. It doesn't help that I've highlighted the death out of my face. <laughs> Whatever. So I'm going to start off with the yellow one, which says that it's going to brighten and diffuse warmth across the face. And it's got like these cute little dogs with like filters over them. Oh no, I dug my finger into that one as well. I don't like the design of this palette because I've already dug two fingers into one. But can you see? Like, it's got like different filters over the little dog. <laughs> okay, so I completely forgot to read you the blurb on the back. It says, the Too Faced Selfie Powders are your filters for the real world. Our collection of weightless, undetectable finishing powders mimic the effect of your favorite photo filters, filters <laughs> by using light refragmenting technology to instantly brighten with diffused warmth, bronze, with a smooth glow, or add a cool ethereal glow to your skin. Get close-up perfection in photos and look filter flawless in real life. Um, I'm going to start off with the yellow one, this one here, and I'm going to dust it across kind of this side of my face, and then I will dust the purple one across this side, 
and then I'll dust the other one across my forehead, I guess, because that's the only really way that I can do it with using all three powders in one go. So I'm going to start dabbing. So these aren't ultra powdery, which is nice. They're quite compact, like I'm not getting a huge fly up or anything like that. Oh god. What the? Hold on, I need magnified mirror. Okay. Oh, you can see my makeup brushes. <laughs> okay. That didn't really do anything. <laughs> like, I saw powder on my brush, but when it actually went on my face, nothing really happened. Let's take a look in the camera and see if the camera does anything about it. So remember, it's this side here, but I can't see any difference. Like seriously, it looks the exact same as the other side. Did I not use enough? Should I use more? Considering I'm washing my face right after this, I'm gonna put on a bit more of that yellow sunrise powder on this side of my face to see if it makes a difference. Okay, so I've just put like another layer of that on my face. Let's see if it makes a difference. And by the way, I do have artificial lighting turned on. I've got two soft box lights over there and then a window behind me. Just if you're curious about the lighting and the situation and that. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use the purple one now. I'm just gonna dust off any excess that may be on my brush. Um, and then I'm gonna use the Moon River one, that one there. I'm gonna use that, see if that makes any difference to my face. And I'm gonna try it on this side. I don't really see anything going on my skin. Like I'm using a magnified mirror. Like this is the normal side and then this is the magnified side and I literally see nothing happening. I don't see it giving my skin any sheen. I don't see anything. Like, I literally see it doing nothing. Like, I'm picking up powder. I can see it on my brush, and you can see it as well. Like, when I turn my brush, no powder, powder. And then, like, like, seriously. Like, you can see powders on my brush. I've never actually seen anyone, like, use this powder. I've only ever seen people ball it, so. Yeah, it's nice to have a review or some type of demo on the internet, I guess. Seriously, that did nothing. I see nothing. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I'm going to try and take a selfie. Let's see if it works. Seriously, nothing. I'm going to try and put a bit more on. But seriously, it looked like I did nothing to my skin. So now I'm going to try that middle shade, which is called Totally Toasted. Okay, again, I see powder on my brush. So I'm going to get a bit more. Okay, I actually see brown product on this brush. I'm gonna do my forehead and see how this goes. I feel like that made a difference, maybe. Let's see how the selfie goes with it. Like I know that you're supposed to use like one powder over your whole face, but I wanted to use all three powders in one video. So that's why I kind of sectioned it off. But let's see if this made a difference to the forehead. I seriously can't see any difference. What the heck? Cause let me swatch them for you. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is Sunrise that I'm putting on my finger now. Okay, so it is quite a yellow powder if you can see it on my finger, but I did swish my finger in it quite a bit. And then it kind of just goes transparent. Like it's there. It kind of goes a bit transparent. Here's that middle one that um, totally toasted. Can you see that at all? And then here is Moon River. Okay, seriously, these powders are so shit. Like, I've only had a few experiences with finishing powders, like the ambient lighting finishing powders and stuff like that. I'm sorry about my hair. <laughs> I have no idea why it's so frizzy all the time. But yeah, like, my only experience has been the Hourglass ambient lighting powders and like the palette, the ambient lighting palette, that's around $76, I think. This is, I think, 50 something off the top of my head or maybe 40. To me, I feel like this is a waste of money. Like, I see no difference on my face. Like, I'll probably use this as a setting powder to use it up because seriously, it's so shit. It does nothing for my skin. Like, it doesn't make me look like I've got a filter across my face. It doesn't diffuse the light. At least I don't think so. Maybe after I compare them before and after shots, I'll notice a difference. But off just looking at it on camera, I see no difference. I think this is a complete gimmick. And yeah, like I love Too Faced products, but seriously, I think this is such a gimmick. Um, if when I'm editing this video and I actually notice the difference on camera, I'll write it on the screen. But 
seriously, I think this is such a gimmick and I feel like this was such a waste of money. Like, thankfully the packaging is cute because seriously, no. I will not be recommending this unless I notice a difference when I'm editing. I will put like a little blurb over here, but yeah. From first impressions, I can't see any difference to my skin whatsoever. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think there's much for me to say about this palette. I don't really like it. I can't really notice a difference. Let me know if you can notice a difference. But yeah, I don't think I can notice a difference. So yeah, I hope that helped. I know it was kind of like a random mishmash video. I was really, really unprepared. But I've never done a powder first impression before. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.